beauties tj for beauty here back with another video for you guys today's video is a get ready with me i have been trying to lay low and stay under the radar for a little while i've had a rough week um and so i just really haven't been in the mood to like make videos or like do anything in terms of like creating content or putting out content and so um i'm feeling a little better and I was just like, why not just do a get ready with me where I can sit down and chit chat with you guys and just like have a real honest like moment so we can bond and get to know each other more and have a little bonding time and talk to you guys while I do my makeup. I tried a new hairstyle. And I'm actually loving how it turned out. This isn't a part of the get ready with me. It's just about the makeup. But if you guys like this hairstyle and kind of want to see how I did it or like want a tutorial on it, let me know in the comments. And that's something that I can work on for you all. I also am really liking how this makeup turned out. It's pretty much like how I normally do my makeup. But I wanted to fold it up a little bit. I added like this little brown wing i feel like that's kind of like a trend at the moment but if you're interested in seeing the makeup or just you know you have some time and you want to sit down and chat and talk go grab a snack get comfy you may even need like a box of tissue <laughs> and keep watching <laughs> I honestly don't even know what I'm getting ready for. <clears throat> I don't know. I have, I want to shoot another video. I have an idea for a styling video, but I also need to take pictures for Instagram. Maybe I can get both things done. Who knows? So. We're just going to see. So I don't know if I'm getting ready for one of them, both of them. Uh, But nevertheless, I just wanted to sit down and do this get ready with me because I feel like it's been a while since I posted anything and I want to get a video out. I haven't been in the best mood uh, or the best state or whatever, like things just haven't been good for me the past couple of days so it's affected my like it's affected my productivity because yeah I just wasn't in the mood I mean you know when you don't feel good you don't really you're not really motivated to do much all right so I'm gonna do my makeup now here's the thing this is a judgment free zone right of course it is I my brushes I need to wash them like this just this just what it is so what we're going to do is if you see me pick up a brush and it looks like this we're going to just ignore that like I said it's been a rough couple of days bear with me and do as I say not as I do don't ever like allow your brushes to look like this um but I'll wash them soon enough soon enough they will get washed uh so I'm very excited that I have a new mirror I got this I posted about this on Instagram. A trifold mirror from Impressions Vanity. Look at that. And look at that. Um, and it has three. Wait. Okay. Well, as you can see, it has these fold closed, so it's good for travel. It has a um stand here that I can snap that off i'm obsessed with it i got it at home goods it was 29.99 i feel like that was a good price i mean it's battery operated or i can plug it up so that's always great if you don't have batteries you can plug it up or if you're not near an outlet you can use the batteries i was going to include my hair in the whole get ready with me thing but this style I didn't know how it was going to go <laughs> and I didn't really know what I was doing when I started so I didn't want to record it and then like you see me doing stuff and you're like what are you doing and it made absolutely no sense so I just came on here when it was done 
Um, I got inspired by, let me show you this picture. This is the hairstyle I got inspired by. I saw this photo on Instagram and I was like, this is super cute. It's been sitting in my phone for a very long time, maybe at least a year. And um, I'm kind of in between hairstyles right now. I'm gonna do braids again. So I'm like, until I get those done in a couple of days, let me just do something fun. So I do like how it turned out. Let me just take this scarf off so you can kind of see the vibe. Yeah, I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I do still have to do my baby hairs and everything. The way that I did this was basically like that whole, I don't even know what that style is called when you like do a ponytail and you like wrap the hair around your ponytail. What is that called? I don't know, but um, maybe I'll try to find a video and like link it down below. Oh, update on my brow lamination. Let me just kind of brush them a little bit. I mean, this is what they're looking like. What I do like is that when I don't do my makeup, I like how they look. I literally can just apply brow gel. I really don't have to fill them in if I don't want to, but I do. Um, but I like how they look too, just with brow gel. So, I've been upset the past couple of days. I haven't been in a good mood. I've been going through like a change of life kinda. Um, here and there I've mentioned, oh, my boyfriend this, my boyfriend that in some of my videos and my boyfriend is no more and not that i want to like broadcast anything about my relationship because like i just don't want to be that girl and we honestly weren't even even together for that long it wasn't like it was like a really long term thing but it was getting serious at least for me and to just kind of realize that the feelings that you have for somebody weren't mutual is a blow and it was a tough pill to swallow because I feel like it was out of the blue um, I didn't really see any signs it was just kind of like yeah we should talk and then that was where the conversation went so I was super sad um, last the end of last week over the weekend the beginning of this week um, but today makes a week and you know you gotta move on with life i have been trying to do things just to keep me busy as much as possible and i wanted to make videos but then it was just like i didn't have the motivation to at the same time because i just wasn't in a good mood and i feel like this has kind of like sorry if the light is changing because the sun is like doing this weird thing where it's going in and out i was just like I feel like every time a relationship ends for me, I have like this realization about myself and like somehow I'm able to like transform and like I find out that there are other things in life and like there's some personal development that's to be had. And so I'm just kind of shifting my focus to that, like just making sure that I am the best version of myself so that when the day comes when I'm actually in the relationship that I'm supposed to be in, that God has already aligned for me to be in, then I'll be ready. I'll be prepared. But I'm sad. Like, I'm still sad. But it was a point where I really couldn't even talk about it without crying. Um, But I'm okay right now. Like, later on tonight, I um, make her again. Who knows? But it's just, I don't know, breakups are tough. So, I just, especially when, like, you're not the person who ended things. So, just having to, like, deal with that and sort through that is, like, a thing within itself. And then just trying to find the strength to move on with life ultimately that's all you can do is like move on what other choice do you have you know so you allow yourself time to cry time to mourn time to be mad or whatever it is and then you know you just move on not not move on in the sense of like moving on from your feelings but you move on you do what you need to do so that you're not, you're not stuck in that space so I kind of just maybe in this video a little bit wanted to talk about things that you can do 
if you're ever, God forbid, in an unforeseen circumstance like a breakup, you know? And you're feeling like, oh my gosh, like how do I move on with life? I'm using my uh, Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I always forget to wet this. In a situation like mine, I feel like it's important to always remember you did all you could do and sometimes that's just not enough. As long as you feel like in a situation where you were dignified and respectable then you just have to be proud of that and you have to just be okay with that and content with that. So, and if you know that you did everything that you could and it just wasn't enough, like if you just have to kind of come to terms with that because if you did your best and your best wasn't enough, then that kind of just means that it wasn't meant to be. So you want to just obviously allow yourself the time and the space to mourn, be sad, go through the motions, don't try to ignore them, don't try to go and find somebody else, like how they say the quickest, the quickest way to get over somebody is to get under someone else, like don't do that, <laughs> like that doesn't do anything but make the situation worse because ultimately you're not really dealing with your real emotions and then like that can turn into a mess, so to prevent an even bigger mess from happening, you know, take some time to deal with your emotions and process what is actually happening. Take as much time as you need, you know? Um, there's no right or wrong in that. And it just depends. What you don't want to do is just allow your emotions to get the best of you. You know, it's okay to feel. Obviously, you're going to have some sort of an emotional reaction to something like that if your feelings were genuine for that person. That's not something that you should feel bad about. If you need to cry, cry. Um, if you have friends that you can call and vent to, call and vent to them. I have friends that I have called and vent vented to many of not like literally for the past week. One of my best friends I've been on the phone with almost every night. And that was very helpful. So if you have someone, it could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be whomever. Lean on those people that are close to you, that you trust. And vent, get it out. Um, another option would be like journaling. Um, therapy is another thing. That's something that I do. I'm in therapy right now. Yeah, so whatever you need to do to kind of like get it out. Purge it and let it out. And then don't hold it and keep it like bottled up. And then you want to, you know, preoccupy your time. So if you have like projects that you're working on or going to work or doing things actually that like bring you joy, whether that's spending time with your family, spending time with your friends, spending time with your kids, spending time with yourself, maybe watch your favorite show or watch your favorite movie, things that bring you joy. One thing that brings me joy is shopping and <laughs> that honestly I am noticing is becoming an issue like and I gotta get control over it because I definitely have been buying things that's not something that I recommend but listen desperate times call for desperate measures one of the things that I like to do is work out even though for a few days I really didn't even have the motivation to work out to be honest but working out helps because that helps you to like release stress or relieve stress you're able to like focus on something and it, it doesn't even have to be actual like if you don't like to like work out maybe you could do yoga even meditation just something for you to like focus on and take your mind away from thinking about that person or the relationship ending and what have you just continue to do that the most important thing is to like try to continue to stay busy um that sorry was the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in latte and now for my contour I'm using the elf hydrating camo concealer in deep cinnamon side note I didn't know that elf had a hydrating uh 
version of this concealer. I like this so much better. Um, I was using the regular one and I hated the way that it made my under eye look. But now that I have this, I like it so much better. So if you have like dry skin or dry under eyes like me, try the hydrating formula because I like this a lot better. The key is to stay busy. Stay busy and stay preoccupied. And then also, I mean, you can always like, if this person who you ended the relationship with says anything that sticks out to you about your own behavior it's worth reevaluating just because there could be something that maybe could help you to become a better person that you didn't notice that they noticed and that they verbalized to you think about if there's anything that they said that stuck out to you that you feel like Oh, well, maybe that is something, an area of concern that I had for myself that I could work on, you know, and take necessary steps, whether that be talking to a friend or a close family member to see how maybe you can improve in that area or, again, talking to a therapist or reading. Um, also, too, for any, I, I'm, I don't necessarily call like, like to consider myself like a very religious person person i like to consider myself more of like a spiritual person but honestly like if you are religious or spiritual or just if you believe in a higher power you can use this as an opportunity to strengthen your faith and your relationship with your higher power and for me that has helped as well and journaling has helped once you're able to get to a point where you know you're not crying all the time or you're not like super sensitive about every single thing and it's not like consuming your thoughts you really just want to I, I wouldn't necessarily say to rush to get back into anything right away you just want to use the time and the opportunity to to focus on yourself maybe there's a project that you always wanted to do but never really had time because most of your time you devoted to the relationship or maybe um you could use that opportunity to strengthen a relationship with a family member or a friend or you might want to go back to school or you might want to relocate or start a new job that's something that i'm considering as well it can definitely be a blessing in disguise i think for a few days I was in a place where I was like doubting myself and questioning myself but then I had to realize that I did I didn't do anything wrong I am okay with how I handle things um and how I handled myself for the duration of the relationship and again like if that wasn't good enough for somebody then it's cool like there will be somebody that it is good enough for but one thing that you don't want to do is like beat yourself up about it. Even if, let's say, even if you are in a situation where you were the one, the reason why the relationship ended, like something that you did, maybe you were dishonest, maybe you stepped outside the relationship and were unfaithful or just anything. You always want to use every life experience, good or bad, as a learning experience to help you grow from and evolve. Because that's what a lot of, that's a lot of what life is about, is evolution. And if we're not growing, then we're dying. So you always want to, for the duration of the time that you're here, be growing every day and becoming a better person. And as opposed to using it as an opportunity to, because I mean, initially you probably will do this. But as opposed to using it, using a breakup as an opportunity to figure out what the other person was doing wrong and how wrong they are, you can use it as an opportunity to figure out how you can improve. Because we aren't perfect all the time and I'm sure that there's something that you could have done differently or would have done differently in any situation. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me powder today. I'm not going to use my Beauty Bakery powder. It's just sad though and unfortunate because when things end that we're enjoying, it's always sad, you know? But on the bright side, like anything, you know, with time, it gets easier. There's no 
easy way out though like and there's no easy fix you just kind of have to be in it until you're out of it you know what i mean even if you're not in high spirits all day like even if you're only in high spirits for half of the day or a quarter of the day it's better than nothing if you're in high spirits for three hours out of the day fine cry the rest of the hours but every day it'll go from three hours to four hours to five hours to six hours and before you know it you'll go a full day without being sad so yeah i mean i just ugh, it sucks like it really sucks like it really sucks and it's just an unfortunate situation because i did not see myself here but it is what it is what i will say is with this situation like women's intuition is really something and i feel like everybody has intuition so i feel like if you're in a situation and you just feel like something isn't right say something you know like don't wait say something of course you want to be careful of how you say it and what you say but you should 100 percent say something i feel like this about any relationship but especially intimate ones but, I mean, at the end of the day, like, the beautiful thing about life is that it goes on. And if you are able to have a positive outlook, a positive outlook on life, honestly, it will get better. It will get better. And I believe everything happens for a reason. Because of that, that helps to keep me calm, I guess. But it hasn't been easy. It definitely hasn't, like... <laughs> I've been on Twitter. I know people are probably like, what is going on with her? Like, please, girl, we get it. We get it. Like you're sad, we get it. But it's like, whatever you need to do, you know, enough about that. I'm just like, it is what it is, you know? And you know, life is unpredictable. So it's like, you got to get to a point where you just start to roll with the punches. You know what I mean? and I feel like I'm at that point in life it's like whenever you think you have a hold on something life is like aha uh -huh, so you thought if you get caught up in that you'll always be miserable you got to start to like learn how to embrace things and just be like it is what it is and like literally I'm going to make lemonade out of these lemons and they sometimes you might not get lemons sometimes you might get strawberries i don't know what's a sweet fruit that people like to eat watermelon or something i don't know the point is you kind of just have to always play the cards that you were dealt whether those are good cards or whether those are bad cards and life is full of ups and downs and so it's like no matter what situation you're in good or bad is not going to last forever so if it's good you cherish that if it's bad then just stay optimistic and know that it's not going to be bad forever like even when it rains literally the sun comes out eventually like it doesn't rain forever unless you live in like washington state which that's a whole nother thing but and i think that's like the key to life just staying positive always being positive you know because like what else can you do do you walk around mad and angry at the world all the time i mean i know some people do but what good is that so I made a mistake i've been putting on brow gel before i fill in my brows and then after but i feel like now that i have the lamination i don't need to do it before so i'm gonna stop doing that it's too late now but i'll try to keep that in mind for the next time has anybody been watching like the presidential debates or whatever that is is that what it's even called the vice president debate was on last night and i really like kamala and granted i don't know everything about her like i'm not so into politics but i just like how she carries herself she's experienced and she's educated which i mean can't say that much for some other people that i know in other news i've hit the one week mark for my brow lamination and things are going pretty good once i hit the two week mark i think i'm gonna do like a i guess like a review or like an update so if you guys are interested in that let me know if you're not i, I won't bother or maybe i will i don't know and i know like fall is here 
right now i'm still okay with it because it's not super cold outside but i don't like the fact that the days are getting shorter i'm just like ah. it gets starts to get dark at like six ish i'm just like eh here we go one of the best things that i like about fall is like and i love this when i was like in school and stuff still fall time is like when all the shows like start coming on like new shows or the new seasons of shows come on so like all the seasons restart and all that and the bachelorette is about to start let me tell you i am bachelor nation okay like some people say that that show is like so phony and so fake and i do not care i eat that show like i love the bachelor bachelorette uh franchise i'm here for it okay so i was like late to the party kinda i mean for like og bachelor fans so if there's anybody who's like an og bachelor fan watching don't judge me for this so like i started watching during caitlin's season of the bachelorette and her and jordan are so cute and are they i think they're still together since caitlin i think my favorite bachelorette definitely well it was caitlin it was until rachel i love rachel so she's my favorite sorry she blew like caitlin out the box and then my favorite bachelor hmm you know i like nick i feel like he's a little bit of a mess but i like him honestly there's left to be desired for a lot of these bachelors the ones that they pick at least i mean but i love it all like bachelor bachelorette bachelor in paradise like i'm here for it all I'm trying to think of what, what i want to do for my eye look but yeah i'm super excited for the bachelor well sorry the bachelorette can't wait for that i finally got on the like love island train but i haven't been able to see love island us yet i've been watching uk still i do really want to see uh the us just to see how different it is and to see if i like the people better or worse or and i so i watched season six i started watching season five that's the season with molly may but I just, I can't get into it for some reason. So I'm trying to do like a liner situation. And as you can see, this side, things aren't going as smoothly. Also, if any of you aren't following me on Instagram, go follow me right now. The reason why I'm saying this is because I have been like doing closet sales because I'm so grateful that I'm like reaching my body goals. You feel me? The thing is now none of my clothes fit. I mean, I'm being dramatic when I say none, but like I have so many clothes that are too big and it's just so crazy though how my body is like transforming. But some of the clothes I like, like I like my clothes, but they don't fit anymore. So that's kind of sad but um i'm doing like closet sales sporadically i don't really know when i'm going to have them but just as i'm cleaning things out or trying things on and i can't fit them anymore they're too big or if i order something and i don't like it and i don't want to go through the hassle of returning it i'll just post on my page that hey i'm selling this and it's available for sale so check that out because there's some cute stuff on there and you may be able to snag something for really cheap Oh, I didn't even tell. So for this look, I'm using the uh, Nubia. Oh, wait. It's the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. So we're in October. What's the word on Halloween? Like, are we dressing up? Are we not? Are we going out? Are we staying home? Are we dressing up and staying home? What's the deal? What are you, what are you guys doing? I was thinking about doing some Halloween looks. But I feel like if people aren't even in the Halloween spirit, then is it, should I? I mean, I still might though, because it's like fun for me and I'm able to get out, you know, some of my creative juices. But I might actually be doing like Halloween makeup. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I was making, 
plans for a Halloween costume? Like, as a couple. <laughs> now I'm just like, maybe I'll just drown myself in work and don't even have to be bothered with that. I don't know what this brand is. I've never heard of it before. It's called The Cream Shop or The Creme Shop. Um, and these lashes are 100% vegan and cruelty free. Oh, I didn't even know that. But I found these at TJ Maxx and like these are the perfect lashes for me. I have trouble finding lashes because I don't have small eyes, but because I have hooded eyes, it's hard for me to find lashes that are full enough and fluffy enough for me, but don't overpower my eye. But these are perfect. I love these. I'm obsessed with them. When I put them on the first day, when I put them on, I was like, yes, this, this, this is it. This is it. What I've been searching for my entire life. So I'm so happy that I found these. And I love them even more now because they're 100% vegan and cruelty free. Love that. I'm going to just try to uh, drown myself in work, making great content for you guys and growing my social media presence because that is the goal among other goals and boss up. Like I feel like that's the best thing that I can do It's just boss up. And not even like on some revenge or like how I look at me now type, but like really just boss up. The same type of energy that I put into relationships, put it into this relationship. You know what I mean? Like my relationship with myself, with my career and all that. And now I need to take care of these baby hairs. The makeup is done. I just decided to do my, uh, put my lashes on off camera because... Every time I go to put my lashes on while I'm filming, it gets wild. When I'm just minding my business, doing my makeup, and I'm not having to make a video, my make my lashes go on like that. I think they might be camera shy. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll just work with them until they're out of this phase and it is what it is. So, but like, can you see these lashes? Like, they were literally made for my eyes. I will try to find some sort of link to this brand and I'll link it in the description box if you have hooded eyes like I do but you want something that's like still you know fluffy and flirty and pretty yeah then you should try these for sure I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about a lip but more than likely it'll just be a nude so I'm using the Miel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Edge Gel and I'm gonna just like put some of the Scott's Be Glue Free Spray on top of it um hopefully that will do the trick but i'm not that optimistic i need to buy one of those like edge brushes this is kind of like the like an edge brush i want to try to do something fancy down here but like the way that her baby hairs are they're like super fancy. Look at that good baby hair action. Like look at that. I don't know if I'll be that successful, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so with this, I'm just gonna try to make this swirl. Oh, look at that. My sideburns be given like a shanty vibes. They end down here. Can y'all see like all of that? <laughs> Should I get that threaded or something? Okay, I might have did something, but you see what I, like, look, look, that is not the vibe. All right, now let's see if we can do that on this side, because that side went pretty well. <laughs> Who am I today? I'm just like doing these sideburns like a pro. This hairstyle is so cute. It's out of my comfort zone, I feel like. Okay, I'm going to touch up this ponytail and find me an outfit. Where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you balls, you can't even pay me enough to react. Be waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga songs in this party, I can't even listen to that. Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a victory lap, hey. Shawty come sit on my lap, hey, they saying Jersey just snap. This in between us is not like a score, this isn't a possible gap, hey. 
I see some niggas attack, and don't let them make it back. I know that they had the crib going crazy down bad. What they had didn't last down bad. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby, I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Baby, 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 baby. we took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town. All right, so I just popped on a new lip. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this, but I just wanted to put something on so I can finish up the look and close out the video. I hope that there was something in this video that I said that you know was able to like resonate with you if you're going through a tough time, if you've experienced a situation similar to mine. I just want to reiterate to try to stay as positive as you can. I know that if you're in the thick of it, it doesn't. It's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But it's there. It's there. And if you look hard enough, you'll see it. And if you don't see it, you know you really just have to keep moving until you see it. If you are going through a tough time, I wish you nothing but the best. I'm sending nothing but love and positive vibes your way. Lots of air hugs. And just remember, if it does not rain forever, the sun has to come out again. I know that sounds so corny and cliche, but it's really the truth, honestly. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I'm going to go and get dressed. Um, again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see the complete look once I get dressed and put my outfit on and post pictures and all that good stuff uh like this video hit the thumbs up button for me and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you enjoy my videos and you don't want to miss out you can always hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time i upload um i enjoyed this video it was therapeutic in a way i'm glad that i'm back in my bag i like to say like i feel like i'm back and i'm better and um, everything happens for a reason. So thank you for allowing me to talk about this, to be open, be vulnerable. I feel like that that is courageous and beautiful within itself, and it's a very attractive quality to have. And yeah, um, until next time, ladies.